Good morning. I'm starting day three of St. Cuthbert's Way. Um, I started in Jedburgh. I'm going to Moor Battle. I think it's about 10 miles. Um, I'm compensating for being off track. I gotta walk three miles just to get back onto St. Cuthbert's Way. I'm kind of cutting off, um, kind of coming back onto the trail at an angle, so that's why it's so many miles. Um, it's probably really two miles to get closest back on the trail. Um, coming back on an angle, I'm taking three miles, but I'm cutting about a mile off the actual way. Um, you can hear the sheepies are getting fed, so they're very excited and noisy. Um, let's get started. Um, I am feeling so much better this morning. My lower back is hurting. I think the frame on this pack is a little too long, but I'm five foot and it's it, with packs this size, it's hard to find like multi-sizing on packs and I didn't test this out very well. So um, do as I say, not as I do and always test your packs. Um, but so I ended up doing 13 miles yesterday. I thought it was going to be like 10. <laughs> Um, Jedbur is uh, about two and a half miles off trail. I thought it was like one, one and a half miles. I have no idea how my math was that bad. And then the road going in is super busy. So I kind of took a little side path, which I think added another half mile. So I did like an extra three miles yesterday and I was really cranky at the end. Um, but nothing that like 10 hours of sleep can't So this morning I was um, turning my music on on my iPhone and I don't have any built-in playlists because for whatever reason when I got my iPhone 13 mini they uh, didn't trans over just the songs which is super rude um, but anyway so I've just been putting my songs on and putting on shuffle and the first thing that came on the playlist was um, Lazy Days by uh, Robbie Williams and I'm like mm, Robbie that's super rude uh, I'm in the middle of a walk you bastard B&B that I stayed at last night offered like for six pounds you could have like a little packed lunch to go with you so I took advantage of that. I'd really be a happier camper than eating random shit throughout the day which is kind of what I did yesterday but I got ham and cheese sandwich, potato chips, uh, granola bar I ate like an hour ago and an apple, um, some water. Um, and I'm eating it outside of a castle. How does it get better?
Hello. I am in Moor Battle, Scotland. Um, I did nine and a half miles, like 9.6 miles, something like that. Or maybe it was just under nine and a half. I don't remember. It was under 10 miles. I was expecting 10 miles. So I actually overcalculated by a half mile. Um, so <laughs> win in my book. Um, so I'm in much better spirits than I was yesterday. Um, a lot of road walking today. So my feet really were, you know, when you're pounding that hard pavement, it's like hard on your legs. So my feet were really feeling it. My ankles are feeling it. My calves are super, super tight. Um, and my right calf, my muscle is like in a total knot. I've been trying to work it out this evening. So that's probably bothering me more than anything else. Um, you see the view, there's like a church right out the window here. Um, the, I'm at Temple, Temple Hall. So hotel, it's a quaint little hotel, a little restaurant bar, ate dinner there, which was tasty. Um, but food is always tasty when you're like a hungry hiker. I, tomorrow's plan is supposed to be 11 and a half miles. Bad weather is coming in, so I'm kind of, mm, maybe I won't walk. Maybe I will. I'm such a fair weather hiker that, I don't know. It's supposed to be a pretty scenic day. There's like two big climbs in there. But it's not going to be scenic if it's like rainy and windy. So we'll see how I'm feeling in the morning. I always feel better in the morning. Um, we'll check the weather forecast. See what things are looking like. Maybe I'll like taxi half and hike half. Um, or taxi all of it. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I've got four days of walking left. So I I'm really, really enjoying myself. But I'm... Um, feeling the cumulative cumulative effects of of all the walking like i'm literally wondering like how the hell did i walk the camino um the train's been a little trickier than than the camino man i don't know uh, 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 that might not be true who knows um but anyway closing out for tonight oh we should do a room tour let's do a room tour room tour time this is the bed we've already gotten into it uh there's a dresser vanity a little sitting spot by the window i was just talking to you guys at um kettle tea instant coffee etc and then this is the bathroom has a nice big shower so this was a much more comfortable shower than yesterday um, and that's it. That's all my clothes hanging on this heat that I washed and voila. Okay. Before I wrap up, I've got like a semi wild story. So I'm eating dinner by myself, chilling, eating my hamburger, drinking my Peroni beer. Yes. I was drinking Italian beer in Scotland. What are you going to say about it? Um, and a couple walks in. I actually think they were from Canada, um, which is the first couple walking St. Cuthbert's Way that is outside of Europe. And they were, and the woman's like, uh, are you from Ohio? I'm like, what? Excuse me, how do you know these things? And apparently they were they ran into somebody else who I had run into and was talking to and he must have been talking about me or something but apparently word has gotten out that there's an American from Ohio on St. Cuthbert's Way um so I guess say hi to me um <laughs> that wraps up day three on St. Cuthbert's Way and we'll see what tomorrow holds